Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate, I'm Nye. I'm Mako, and uh, we are still doing things in the wonderful world of cards and... and talking. <sighs> I was having this thought on the way home. Um, mm -hmm. I believe by the time this airs, the uh, related Keep Talking episode will have aired. What brings you um, the Marvin the Martian one. Hmm. Um, I know you will not tell. Since me. I was a kid, I Good loved. Rest. Ooh, Dragon Shield. We you start with silent. it. Oh a wow! Shield Bash sets the target on fire for a short period. Nice. Um. Yeah, so, uh... More, fi more fire is always good at this point. More fire is generally pretty good, yes. Um, we, we had an episode of, If you're not watching the Keep Talking series, uh, we had an episode of Keep Talking and No Explodes where I ended the episode, uh, trying to mimic Marvin the Martian, uh, in one of his, uh, iconic, um iconic uh, lines. Um, I'm not going to repeat it here, so if you want to hear that, go uh, go watch the series. I think it's like episode episode 9, episode 10 at the end. They're only The, the episodes are only 10 minutes long. It's not that far to go. Um, but uh, I was thinking, um, you know, I've always loved doing voices as a kid. Not in a voice actor sort of way. I just love doing goofy voices and always have. And in my, like, I was thinking about it, now in, in my head, I immediately had the, uh, the, the Robin Williams from Mrs. Doubtfire scene go through my head. What do you do? I do voices. You you do voices? I do voices. Like, that sort of ran through my head. And unfortunately, I am not the comedy master that is Robin Williams. So, unfortunately, I can't continue uh, that particular exchange because I can't, um, I can't do everything he does. But I was thinking about it, so on the way home, I just started randomly kind of modulating my voice and thinking of the different things I could do. And it's such a weird thing, because I can't... I, I don't, like, practice it. I just know a couple of different, like, vocal movements I can do to change the way my voice sounds. And so it just... It, it's a weird thing to go, okay, this particular thing will cause my voice to come out more nasally. This will raise my pitch, this might lower my pitch. This sounds a little bit like this. And then also with the knowledge that... What I hear when I'm speaking is different from what you hear when you hear me through recording. Also makes things very weird. So I... Nobody sounds the way they think they sound. Ooh, it's the Saints ring. Ooh, ooh, wait, ooh, we got some good stuff. Leave those on top. Hello. Let me, let me get those. Can you... Can you I'm sure you No, great. let me have one of those. Stop giving me health and money and food. Give me item. We want to live long enough to see what the, funny, what, what yeah. the fun stuff is. I want, I want to get that stuff. Um... But yeah, it was. I actually started flipping through. So I, uh, I don't actually, um, don't hit me. I don't actually listen to the radio ever. I listen to my phone, which has a ton of music on. I have over a thousand songs on my phone, and I have it uh, synced up, or I have it set up on my uh, car, so my uh, it plays through Bluetooth, and my car and just set up random. So I started flipping through it and hitting the seek button, looking for something I could sing to, because I wanted to try to sing something in Marvin the Marvin Martian's voice didn't work. I spent 25 minutes flipping through music on, on my radio and never found... Because uh, I, I listen mostly to video game music, uh, instrumental music. Uh, there's some music that I listen to that I just have no chance of being able to sing along with. So, eventually I got to Weird Al's Send Amish Paradise, tried singing along with it, and realized that in the voice I was trying to do, I could not sing that fast. <laughs> Which was a crying shame. Because thinking of Marvin the Martian singing along with uh, Amish Paradise is an amazing, like, mental exercise. If if you haven't if you haven't imagined this, folks, I recommend that you do post haste. No, I'm not going to try doing it now. On the muddy road, certainly. That is one of the things. Did you ever try doing voices, Mako? Just random voices as a kid? Uh, occasionally, I'm I'm not really built. I'm not really. I would say I'm not really built for it, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I, told, I, I always thought it was fun. There were always things that I loved doing. Uh, I loved uh, pretending to do Yoda. And for a long time, I thought I had a decent Yoda impression until I realized that, no, I don't. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's stuff like that. Um, you know, I love doing, like, the super nasally or super back-of-the-throat voice. It's so much fun to talk like this. Like that super nasally voice. Um, 
I used to love doing stuff like that as a kid. And, uh, I, a couple of, uh, there's my Saints Ring. Okay, so what does this do? Player's max health is increased by five for every blessing well we have. As a nah. constant effect. So it works the same way as that one ring does for food. So every time I gain a blessing, I just gain five health. Hmm. And there's a 12 total blessings, so that's just a 60 uh, health sure gain if you have them all. This one in time. Not bad. Not you the best, but not bad. Yeah, not amazing, Friends. but uh, it's Even about what I expected it to be. I, I, it was, I knew it was going to be blessing related. Did um, I just didn't know why. Let's, okay. I want to see... I want to see if we can get, um... Is that their most base and go ahead and pick up the ring reward. To believe their own I want to see if we can not have to buy food from the mage. Of course, apparently I'm going to have to buy food from the mage. So I'm going to die My if I don't. Powers are genuine. Um... Ouch. If only you had God, I can't... Meal. See, now, now I'm, I'm, like, mentally trying to run through... We'll go ahead and pick up the dragon ring right now. Um, I'm mentally trying to you run through, like, the the process to get to certain voices, because it's like I have to move this portion, you know, portion of my throat to get there. Mm. And it's a weird thing to mentally do, and now I can't think of how to do it. Like, I can I can think about how to get to, to the Marvin the Martian style voice. I can think of that motion. But for some reason, how to get to another one is now, not, this is my kind it's not hitting me. For a while, I was looking to this uh, this lovely band that I that I absolutely love called uh, Steam Powered Giraffe. Do you know them, Mako? Have I mm -hmm. ever linked to them? I don't think so. Um, they're a they're a band that does everything I love in this style of music. So they do they've got very folk style songs, um, and they they're playing characters. So, um, they're acting as, you ever, you ever go to either, uh, the really, really old school animatronic Chuck E. Cheese's, the one that, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's is based off of? We had one in my town up to, up until a while back, and then it just shut down, There's but I remember them. There's max health again. Ouch. I, I remember them. Trouble. Um, so, for those of you who never did these, uh, either the old school, uh, Chuck E. Cheese's, uh, the really old school, um, what was it, what was it, the Bear Jamboree at Disney? Um, there were a couple other places that did something similar, but it was a band made of animatronic characters that would uh, sing songs, and uh, between the songs, they would banter at each other, Roaming uh, which uh, was meant to be funny for kids, and most of the kids thought they were terrifying. Uh, I think, and the parents just got the parents were just annoyed. There, there but, is uh, a reason that Five Nights at Freddy's exists. Yeah, it was, it was, you know, it's based on this, and it was just as terrifying in real life because this was a real thing that existed. Thankfully, they couldn't walk around; otherwise, it would be real nightmare fuel. Um, but yeah, so lose thirty percent of my gold. We, the game is trying to kill me this time. At their heart. Um, but yeah, so it is. Steam Powered Giraffe is a fantastic band. So what they do is they get up in in uh, in a whole getup. So they have um. And most importantly. Uh, okay, we're gonna get a free blessing. Oh, maybe we're not gonna get a blessing. Okay, never mind. Um, they get they get in these amazingly painted getups. Uh, they um. Uh, they, they put face paint on. They get these amazing outfits on, and they act like a robotic band. So they do the whole, like, jerky movements of their hands. Um, my, my, my favorite uh, of the singers, uh, Isabella Bunny Bennett, uh, who plays Rabbit. Uh, she is uh, pretty awesome at... Um, her, her character is not all there, is, is, a, is a great way to put Rabbit. Um, Rabbit frequently, like, breaks. Like, might get caught on one syllable for a while so bad they actually uh, one of their bandmates will actually come and like pretend to beat on rabbit a couple times to fix him and get him uh we'll fix her now good old and, good old progressive maintenance. yes do some progressive maintenance um bunny is also really uh fantastic at um at mining stuff uh one of one of their um so, so the idea is that they between songs they do skits between uh, Rabbit, uh, The Spine, and uh, Hatchworth, who is the uh, final guy. And um, so they'll do skits, they'll make fun of each other, they'll tell stories, uh, and they have a very folk uh, style to their songs, 
but most of their songs, uh, for, the, uh, for the most part, um, are telling this, like, history of their world. So you have uh, the song uh, Brass Goggles, which gives you a kind of a story of where these animatronic characters came from, because the, even the characters they're playing have a history. Uh, the they, they ro robots originally started as combat robots to uh, deal with a war in Africa, and then once the uh, once the war was over, they didn't know what to do with themselves, so they started a band. Hmm. I think I think they. No, that's what it is. They were originally supposed to be a band, had to be converted into war, uh, fighters, and then went back to it. I think that's what it was. Uh, you'd have to you have to go look. But they also have other songs. Like uh, one of my favorites is. Uh, uh, what is it? It's Captain something Alexander. It's, a uh, Albert? That's what it is. Um, it's telling the story of this, you know, fantastical, uh, sailor, a captain, who, um, saves his entire Navy crew by throwing a harpoon into a pirate ship and igniting their rum with it. We don't know how, he just does this. Um... Uh, when he has his own ship, he, uh, the, he, uh, he's I'm sure doing some sort of sailing run, and his ship runs into a, I think, like, it's an 80-foot-tall walrus who's having tooth problems, so he throws the anchor around its tooth and pulls it out. So it's just stuff like that. And, uh, you know, he eventually goes down with the ship because nature has decided that he's lasted too long, so lightning strikes his ship, cracks it in half, a whirlpool starts, and then a kraken comes out and pulls him down, but gives him just long enough to say his final words as all the sea creatures come to watch him go down with the ship. Like, it has this, uh, another really good one, and I love this one because I actually read a book that had a very similar motif to it, um, is uh, Rex Marksley, who this time we go into uh, the westerns, and we're talking about a uh, cowboy who was, as even as a kid, was so good at his guns that um, he would, he, uh, as a kid, he went uh, trying to shoot, you know, the old, the old school shoot cans on top of the fence to knock them down. <laughs> well, he was so good, not only did he shoot the cans, then he shot all the nails out of the fence, and the fence fell down, thus allowing all of his family's cows to uh, leave. Whoops. Yeah. He also uh, eventually found, see, there, there's stuff like, um, he taught all the jackalopes to yodel together. Uh, he uh, used dynamite to shoot pickaxes to destroy a golem. All kinds of stuff like that. Like they, they're building this mythology, and the songs are the songs are fairly fun. As I said, they're folky, but um, which is not normally my style of music, to be honest with you. But it's the lyrics that get to me because it's just it's fantastic stuff. Like they go on and on and on about the mythology of their place. Hmm. Um, and I love their music because of the. Uh, not only the, the way they the way they set up songs, the way they chit chat with each other, they're making fun of each other. Uh, they're all face painted. I love Blue Man Group for much the same reason because they're playing that character. Um, but they also uh, they have really unique ideas and very fun ways to do them. Well, the entire point of this particular uh, excerpt was to talk about the spine. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the uh, the singer's name who played the spine. But this man has such amazing range to his voice. Uh, I think someone said it's like a three to four octave range. It's impressive. It's two is generally impressive. He goes high, high, low, low. He's fantastic. And uh, one of the things I love doing is when I'm in the car, when I'm listening to their music, I love trying to match him, which is impossible. I can't. I don't think I have that range in my voice. <laughs> but you have to, uh, let's see, Berserker Ring is tempting. So is Clairvoyant Helm. We're gonna pick up the Clairvoyant Helm because I've never used it. Um, so every, with the Clairvoyant Helm, um, Holy Ring. Yeah, Holy Ring. With the Clairvoyant Helm, every time we get a chance card, the Clairvoyant Helm will tell me. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on the bottom. It'll tell me of one failure card. So I won't. It, you know, it'll tell me where one is. So I won't have to fight it. Um, but yeah, I, I love, um, I love some of their, I love some of the things he does, and, uh, 
like one of the songs that the one I love trying to go along with the most. It's not it's not one of their famous ones. The one that the one that got me into the band is a song called Honeybee. Uh, and if uh, if if anybody out there has not heard them and has not heard their music, go listen to Honeybee. It, it, it's fantastic. It's got this lovely guitar to it. It's meant to be a love song, and it works out really well, especially if you go watch the music video to it. Um, so uh, one of the songs he does, this is the song that I always listen to either when I want to like stretch out my voice or when I just feel like listening to uh, just a damn good song in general. Um, is called, uh, crap, give me a second, see, I, I, I don't do names and also I'm trying to fight here. Not doing it very well, by the way, knowing how much uh, damage I'm taking. Um, it's Automatonic Electronic Harmonics. And, uh, he starts so damn low. Like, he's, he's, um, Clint Eastwood low in his voice when he does this. Anything good? Not really. Do I already have a decent shield? I don't think so. I have the, oh, I do, I have the dragon shield, that's right. Is that what you're going to do? Oh well. But, um, you know, he's way down. Ever since the first time I opened my eyes. See, I, I can't go low enough. Um, he's, he's lower than I just went. Hmm. So he goes that low. And then, uh, when he, um... Choose from these options. It's rare, it's rare to get someone who's got Kukin do a really, really good basso. Well, he, he goes, he, he's got this lovely bass, and then he catapults himself way up high on, like, the second or, or on, like, the third verse. You know? It's just our... It's, it's, it's high. And again, I don't think I can go as high as he can. So, I love trying to sing along with that, because I can try my hardest, I'm never going to be able to hit the reaches that he hits, I but it's so much fun to try. I look forward to hmm. seeing how you okay, so unfortunately, we did get challenge. Cowardice, um, I'm going to go ahead and give him 20 gold, uh, he's going to give me 4 gain, gold gain cards, so I'm going to get all of that gold back I just gave him, plus some, which is pretty awesome. Um, unfortunately, I am once again out of food. Secret Society will knock on the door, but I think they're going to say no because I'm not cursed enough. And now we're going to start taking damage again because I have no food. God damn it. Um, okay, so we're going to know where the failure is. I don't have to worry about that. Let's see if we can... Uh... Yes, there's a success. So we're going to get another blessing here. Arcane Knowledge is a terrible blessing, Very but that's fine. Nice um, we did get max health plus I five because we got another blessing. Break so that's going to help me last a little bit longer as I hunt for food. Yeah, I just, I, I love, I love listening to that, you know, that vocal modulation, and I wish I had that level of talent. Or did I Devil's Blind Wager, I might as well. You into the um, two monster cards, man. two of dust, four of dust. Um, given how badly I've been playing recently, I think we're dead. We'll see what happens. Regrettably. Let's, uh, keep fighting. I mean, I'm not gonna give up. Damn it. Okay, that only dealt one damage to me. That dealt four damage to me. Let's not do that again. Okay. Luckily, these guys don't do terrible lots of damage when they hit me. So we might be able to get out of this. Hopefully get a healing from him. I don't know if he's gonna heal me from this. Down to the last guy. I'm gonna survive. We took about five damage. It's not bad. Um, if it had been a lizard, I would have been dead. One hit would have taken me out. Okay. Five gain cards. Got a map. I'm actually amazed the game actually allowed me to fight him, too. Hmm. Because I have cowardice. Okay, we got hmm. one food. I'm sure you're grateful. We're gonna draw on equipment. Trader's Ring, whenever we sell an item, we get a food. Uh, plus 10 max health. Um, not amazing, unfortunately. What's this? Treasure chest. Um, I don't think this can actually contain food. I think we kind of confirmed that. Regrettably. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with the, with the gas. Um, hopefully we're not going to get... We're not going to take major damage from this. Regular failure. 
one pain card will take 10 health. That's kind of bad. Uh, this is a mimic, so I can't even deal with this. That was a waste of my time. Okay, we're in trouble. Uh, I get two steps. If I don't get food in two steps, we're dead. Or actually, if I don't get food on the next Another step, we're table. dead. Let us see Hello, traveling you. healer. Can I Have I told you lately how much I love you? <laughs> Ain't they wonderful? I didn't even have to fight anything either. A chance to buy more food. <laughs> you have you two health and zero food. You must be relieved. You know what? I am. Let's just, you know, let's just get some food. How about we just get some food? Now I feel better. Um, Fortitude's Breath is pretty much worth selling. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sell the... Nah, I'm going to keep that. We're going to sell Fortitude's Breath, though. Because it's going to give me a decent amount of food. Remember, uh, selling... Um, you know what I probably should have done? Hmm... Probably should have gotten my or healed myself. Let's go back in and spend a little bit of money on a little bit of health. Unfortunately, we only have 13 gold. It's not quite enough to do a major amount of healing, but I might be able to pull something off. Remember, this is the guy who does pretty cheap healing at a decent rate. So, um, but he he's really bad at cursing, or he's really bad at uh, decursing. So he he costs more. Okay, let's go this way. Wheel of the Gods, turn, turn, Jones. turn. Tell me the curse that I shall earn. Curse Huge number success. 356. Huge success! Nicely done. Okay. A ripple in reality emanates from the wheel. The card's token is now yours. A strong wind blows. Your gold is now equal to your health. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We gained, we gained like 13 gold out of that. <laughs> we'll give this woman five, uh, five food with the hopes of getting something good out of this. Dragon Claws. Excellent. That's, that's pretty darn good. <laughs> okay, so here's the question. Royal Treasury is next. Do I do it? Mm, well, okay. as usual, the question is, how much risk do you want to, uh... We have a token. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to try. We did get rid of, uh, the Giganto Curse. Damn it. Oh, dear. Oh, well, we get sliced to ribbons. Well, hopefully Same they'll way. be able to start getting max health back. What you will find. Hopefully. Otherwise, this run's gonna be real short. Our luck has never been that great, though. Yeah. Little please. Well, never when we wanted it to be. I probably psyched myself out on that, that one luck. too. Like thinking I had the right one. Hmm. Uh, let's take Damocles. All these are terrible. But it means that it's you know it's a um. It's a setup that I don't have to go deal with again. Holy patronage! How much I do you have want? Far less respect for your Damn. Decisions to come Ain't it to usually forty? Given the places you've been on uh, the I think we've seen a couple of different prices, but I think it might depend on how many uh, blessings you already have. Hmm. Don't quote me on that, though. Do you have anything good? Not really. So, other thing it's that I was please. I don't want this. General conversational thing. Um, for those who don't know, one of the ways we do recording is uh, screen share via Skype. I oh, also this do. Is a good idea. <laughs> I do a lot of uh, a lot of chat with a number of friends via Skype, and um, we just recently had to abandon Skype for another service. Really? Skype has been doing this thing. It hasn't done it with us, which is. Uh, which is nice, um, but what it does is someone will join the conversation and they will randomly like it, it'll, it'll it's random who who will be, but they could just go go idle for a while or they could be joining from somewhere joining and they'll suddenly like they won't be able to to, to say anything. We can they can hear us, but we can't hear them, or vice versa. Are you sure it's not just an internet issue. No, no, it's happened multiple times for multiple people in different time in different sort of situations. So we just recently uh, tried using, uh, what is it, um, Discord. Not one I know. 
it's it's weird. It's like a little mixture of IRC and Skype. You can dictate different rooms, different ser different servers, quote unquote. They aren't really servers; they're sort of private setups. The one thing, it, and it, it's interesting. Like you know, someone puts up a link, it'll show you the image, and it'll let you go to the image or open it up and view it if it's a YouTube thing. One thing it doesn't do is screen share. Nothing really does screen share as a thing. Hmm. Like you can get you can get team viewer and device and things like that, but there's not really a lot that actually actively does screen share nowadays. Because a lot, I think it's because a lot of people really, you know, when they do screen share, they expect, um, you know, Twitch, which is really good, but the latency on that is so bad that you can't really use it to screen share. Like that's the reason we don't use Twitch to do this is because uh, Mako would be seeing everything you know, 30 seconds behind when I would do it, so it'd be kind of pointless. You wouldn't be able to see me do anything. Which I guess wouldn't be too bad if all we're taught, all we wanted is for Mako to be able to talk, but... I need, if I want to be able to be relevant, yeah. vaguely, um, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Or see what you're doing. See what really you're doing. Not, think, but, yeah. yeah. I mean, not that we always find that important. I mean, we're... As of late, we've been bullshitting more than we talk about the game, but... That happens near the end of our... Well, not near necessarily near the end. After a while with any given game, because we just run out of clever things to say otherwise. Pretty much. And 15 health. Woo! There's only, there's only so much clever that we can come up with most of the time. I wonder what would... You know what? I don't want, I don't want to know the answer to that question. Mm -hmm. Or do I? I kind of want the answer to that question. Well, what I'm thinking of is, um... The ring of, uh... The, the Saint's ring gives me plus five health per blessing, right? That is what it is described as doing. Okay. So... A choice. Select your desire. Um, sorry, I was holding my breath there for a second. Uh, storm of gold. A hailstorm of gold is witnessed in nearby villages. Ooh. <laughs> That's, that just that just spread like fifty gold nearby. Um. What happens if my health is reduced below five times the amount of blessings, then I lose the rank? Do I just instantly die? Do I just go down to one health? Or can I my health not be reduced below that particular value? That is an interesting question. Because it really depends on how um, how the game is coded. Like, what's the coding say? What takes precedence? Is that health permanent or is it impermanent? The same question applies to the food question. With the food ring. Because you know, that ring says, gain gain health equal to food. Can I go below that? We never had the, that question. That never came up. I'm curious. I don't want to test it, but I'm curious. <laughs> if you know, please tell me, because I'm curious. So, for being so far into this run, we're about 30 minutes into this run. Um, we're doing really badly. We don't have it. We're just, we have a dragon. Just, we have a dragon shield and a dragon uh, um, glove. Uh, we've hit wheel the gods twice and got huge success twice, and yet I'm still at very low health with really no resources. Not getting very much in the way of um, the way of equipment. We're just not getting anything. It's just maintenance mode. Yeah, it's just I'm just trying to stay alive, and that's all we got. Huh. Two more gain cards, gain three food. So our food situation sure is nice, at least gain ten health. But that's all I've been getting uh, pretty consistently on this run is I've been getting a lot of food, I've been getting a lot of gold, I've been getting a lot of gain health, I've been gaining very little in the way of actually gain equipment or gain item. It sucks. Do you have anything good? Scorching Zeal. Sword. There's my dragon tongue. We're gonna go ahead and just buy that right now. The blade of the beast. Um few can compare to its power. I'm also gonna pick up the Guildmaster's ring. It's not a, I'm not I'm not really going for a huge ring run right now because we don't have the master's ring, but I think having that would be helpful. 
just because every time I enter a shop, gain a food. They are, you know, that's 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 friendly. That's nice. Companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. Unfortunately, you I don't have the have double the food gain friends. thing going on right now. Even in the animal. What do I have? Traveling mage is below me. I guess we'll go down. I'm not going to actually go this. this I'm not way. actually going to go. Well, you now we're going to go in to get the one free food. Each time. One I thought I saw Mr. Lionel, Lionel there. Yeah, you did. But I wanted to actually gain this free food. Okay. It just it, it, it pays for the step. All right, then. Yeah, that's why I wanted it. Okay. Marketplace. Uh, we're going to ignore it. Keep all my food. Keep moving. Uh, Ratman hunting. Fantastic. This is what I need right now. And face guard? Nope. Okay. Should be able to deal with uh, 12 of plague right now. No uh, else. You have the capacity to set everything on fire. That is... Yeah, especially yep. if I can get that combo up. That gives me the uh, everybody gets to set on fire in an area uh, combo that we were seeing from... Uh, an episode or two ago? Fire has always been a traditional way to deal with the, uh, the plague. That is true. Oh, that's interesting. I like seeing that. When did that start happening? What is that? Uh, using your power, using the ability on this sword increases your combo meter. I don't recall seeing that being a thing that happens with any other weapon so far. Well, it creates a gout of flame, which technically counts as a hit, so... Well, it actually creates multiple gouts of flame. It actually creates specifically five. Hmm. And once you get up to, I think it looks like it's about 25 or so, that's when you start getting the uh, AoE effect. Hmm. Let's go this guy. Here. Fire. I bashed him in the face with my sword, and that's what killed him. Didn't, like, I just poked him with the tip. Just Your sword is on fire. I can't see how it would be any better. I branded him. Now, there's more food. I don't want to talk to Mr. Lionel. Let's talk to Mr. Lionel. Hello, Mr. Lionel. Ten food for 40 gold. Sure. It's actually not a very good deal, but... it's a, it Actually, it's a really good deal. That's actually... that That's... Ten food for forty gold. Yeah, because remember the best in in a shop normally. It's ten for thirty, I thought. Yeah, that's the best one you can get. But remember, a single food is typically four. Food. So ten for forty is not amazing. But remember, at the mages, they ask six for a single. Food. Hmm. So he gives you the best you can get given the circumstances. Never trust a bloody magician. He's not a magician. He's a, he's a goblin. Hey. Fire! I forget, is fire good against lizards? Um, I thought it was traditionally ice. I don't know if we ever figured that out. I don't, have... know, I don't know what to say about the tradition. Uh, Jack is already dead, which is kind of interesting. He died kind of fast. This sword has some really good damage. It might be a new favorite. Um, I'm still thinking that either the Blood Crescent or Kraken's Claws to my favorite. Blood Crescent because it is such a human button. This thing does really good damage, but it doesn't instantly kill the King of Scales. Hmm. I only bring that up, you know, casually, not as if I'm going to be fighting him in a second. Yeah, but this isn't going to instantly kill the king or anything for me, so it can't compare to, um... It, it, unfortunately, it has no comparison against the Blood Crescent, which I can. Um, ow. That was, that was suck. It doesn't compare against that. Um, where's the going to hit me? Oh, that, oh god, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah, I wasn't able to deal with that. Oh! Okay. Go away. No, no, I'm dead. Yeah, I could not get away from that. Oh, God. Okay, well, we got a token, guys. So, you know, the run wasn't a complete failure. Just a mostly a complete failure. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere on these runs. 
Again, you lose. Did you get a token out of this? Please? I did get a token out of this. Yes, we got the token off the Wheel of the Gods. I believe Wheel of the Gods is a permanent card. For using the Wheel of the Gods, you receive the Ring of Wizardry. Well done. Well done in Achievement unlocked. Well you equipped. Are thoroughly equipped for success now. Me. I think that. Is, oh, I think that's for unlocking all of the. Uh, yeah. Well equipped is for unlocking all the equipment in the game. So well, that's. That, that is certainly something to go out on. Yep. Well, we're not done yet, because there's two more achievements I have to get. Well, yes, but... Having think... seen... Have you unlocked every encounter? And... Getting all the dragon relics. But I see you guys next time. We're going to work on that. We'll see you soon.